Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll discuss about on-demand instances. It's a concise lecture because there's nothing much to discuss about this topic. However, we have to understand that what are on-demand instances, what are its use cases, and what are the limitations imposed upon them. What are on-demand instances? These are the ones that you use on-demand. You have full control upon its life cycle. You can decide when and how to stop, reboot, hibernate or terminate your on-demand instances. There's no long-term commitment needed. You don't have to come into any long-term contract with AWS in order to use these instances. And you pay for the seconds consumed by them. And the best part is that the cost per second for running on-demand instance is fixed. So the cost for your on-demand instance is fixed. It's constant. It never ever changes. Now this is used or these instances are used for short term irregular workloads that cannot be interrupted. Now we have to understand the limitations imposed upon them. The on demand instance limits are being determined by the number of virtual CPUs consumed by all your on demand instances that are up and running. So it all depends upon the number of virtual CPUs. This applies to all the instance types. And you can make use of this limit to deploy multiple instances or multiple instance types and your number of virtual CPUs can be consumed by all the instances with different instance types. Let's not say that how you can make use of a vCPU calculator on your management console to understand that how many virtual CPUs you have consumed and how many instances you can deploy. We are back to our AWS MapMake console and I just go to the EC2 under the compute section and then we just go to limits on the left hand side. Once we go over there, we can just go to calculate vCPU limit at the top right hand corner and this is the vCPU calculator. From here we can understand and get to know that how many virtual CPUs we have in a region because this is region specific. If you see the region I am in right now is Mumbai and I can exactly see that how many virtual CPUs I have. If I just click on add instance type and for example, I just go for tt.micro. Now each instance type will consume specific number of instance counts. For example, a tt.micro instance type instance will consume one virtual CPU. So this is the virtual CPU count consumed by the instance type and also depends upon the instance count. Now this calculator assumes that you have already exhausted your limit because this is the existing limit I have in Mumbai and this virtual CPU count adds on to my existing limit and this is a new limit. This calculator assumes that you have already exhausted your existing limit. So depending upon the instance type you have chosen and the count you have chosen, it will add on the virtual CPU count consumed plus the current limit and this is my new limit. Now if I want to increase my existing limit, I can click on request limit increase. This will allow you to open a ticket with AWS and you can ask them or you can request them to increase your virtual CPU limit. This virtual CPU limit is not constant. It keeps on changing. I would say it keeps on increasing depending upon your usage. Now I use Mumbai a lot to deploy my instances. That's why I have such a high limit. If I show you some other region, for example, Singapore, I haven't used Singapore before. So you will see that if I just choose the same instance type, I just go with t.micro, you will see that the current limit is only five virtual CPUs because I haven't used this region before. That's the reason the number of virtual CPUs that I get in this region is much more or less as compared to Mumbai, which I use the most. So depending upon your usage, the limit increases. So in a free tier account or in any account, you will start with bare minimum limits. Um, in most cases, it should be five virtual CPUs. You have to request a limit increase if you want to deploy multiple instances. I will just go ahead and uh, choose the instance count as five. Now you will see that this is the virtual CPU count five 
and this is the limit as i said before this calculator assumes that you have already exhausted your limit in that region so this is my existing limit this is the virtual cpu count consumed by these five instances 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 this is a new limit i can click on this option request limit increase and open a ticket to get my limit increased let's do one thing i will deploy or just try to deploy more than five t2.micro instances and you will see that it will return an error because if i deploy five t2.micro instances then i should be able to launch them however if i launch six or seven so if i deploy more than five t2.micro instances then it should stop me from doing that because as if now the number of virtual cpus i can consume is five and this is being consumed by five t2.micro instances so if i just try to deploy more than five instances with the same instance type i should get an error message let's see that so i just go to the services open ec2 in a new tab and just try to deploy six instances so i just click on launch instance and um, i can pick any of the ami so let me just hit refresh to ensure that i can just pick any of the amis from here yep so i just pick this ami and we will choose the same instance type that we have selected in our calculator that's a t2 dot micro and i click on review and launch straight away okay let's do one thing i just forgot to do one thing that is if i let's cancel it out i just click on launch instance once again hit refresh and for some reason it's not loading up the ami page now it's up so i choose the same ami and same instance type click on next configure instance details over here i will specify the number of instances as six i'm allowed to deploy five but i will just add one more so that i can just try to launch six t2 dot micro instances and now I just click on review and launch. Launch. I can proceed without a key pair because I don't have to log into these instances. I check this option and click on launch instances. Now you can see that immediately it returned an error message because I'm just trying to launch the instances, the number of instances that will consume more virtual CPUs that I can get in this region of Singapore. Because I can consume only five virtual CPUs, but since I'm just trying to launch six t micro instances or six instances with the same instance type, I'm just trying trying to consume one extra virtual CPU. So in that case, it will stop me doing that. If I want to deploy more instances, or I have to deploy more instances that will consume more virtual CPUs that I get, in that case, I have to request a limit increase. As I said before. Depending upon your usage, Amazon will increase your limit automatically, but that will take some time. But if you want to get it immediately, then you can request your limit increase. So that's all about uh, the on-demand instances. We have discussed that what are the on-demand instances, its features, use cases, and how you can decide upon its limits because the limit is dependent upon the virtual CPUs consumed by running instances. I've shown you that how you calculate the number of virtual CPUs you get in a region. You can request a limit increased and you can exactly see that how many virtual CPUs are being consumed by each of the instance types. That's it. Thank you so very much.